How do you prepare yourself for a full hard drive failure of your Windows machine? Well, you create a Windows 10 full image backup. The nerd's going to show you how to make that backup to your favorite USB hard drive and how to recover it either from a USB memory stick, boot media, or even old school DVD. So, a system image, I like to call it a bare metal backup. It lets you recover an image of your old hard drive to a completely blank brand new hard drive. It is a complete backup of every single byte on your hard drive, including the partition table and the boot sectors. So this is how you recover, and the nerd's going to show you how to do it. All right, so I'm going to do a full backup of disk drive C to this My Passport, this Western Digital My Passport that has uh, 548 gigabytes free. And if I look at the properties of disk drive C, you can see I'm using 386 gigabytes. So I'm going to have room to do the full backup. Now, the way I'm going to do the full backup is I'm going to do a full image backup by going to Windows Settings. Update and Security. Then I'm going to go to Backup. And then right here, this is kind of a hidden feature of Windows 10. It's Go to Backup and Restore Windows 7. That's where I want to go. And then if you look right here, let me get this other window out of the way. If you look right here, it says create a system image. This will back up everything, including the partition table, the boot partition, the recovery partition, and disk drive C when I run this backup. So let me get this started. I'm going to say create system image. And let me get it on screen here. It popped up on the other screen. It's looking for backup devices. It found my passport. That is indeed where I want to back up to. So now I'm going to hit next. And you can see it's going to back up everything on disk drive, on the disk drive that's the internal M2 disk drive of my computer. And I'm going to say start backup. And it is off and running. Now, we don't need to sit here and wait for this to get done because we've got about 400 gigabytes to back up. I'll bring you back when it's done. And our backup is chugging along. It's getting close to finishing, maybe another 30 minutes or so. But uh, one thing I just wanted to mention here is we are doing a system image of the entire hard drive. We are not setting up a Windows 7 backup or doing file history, which is the Windows 10. This is a snapshot of the entire hard drive. So now that the backup is complete, let's go to my drive where I have the backup. It's the My Passport Disk Drive E. And it's in this folder, Windows Image Backup. And you can see by the dates, this is the backup I made today. Now, if I right click on this and say Properties, according to Microsoft Windows, this backup took 346 gigabytes. Now, let's look at the amount of data that's on my disk drive C. I'll click on this, right click and go to properties, and let me call these both up at the same time. But if we look at disk drive C, it's 360 gigabytes. So there was some compression of the data from disk drive C to my backup image. I didn't get a lot of compression at all because I have tons of video files on disk drive C from making videos for this channel. And video files are already highly compressed, so they do not compress very much at all when you compress them when you're running a backup. But I did save a little bit of space. 
So here is my backup 346 gigabytes. So to create the system repair disk that will let you restore this full image backup, you can either click on create a system repair disk right here, but literally this wants you to create a DVD or CD. Now I have a USB DVD drive burner hooked up to my computer so I can create a system repair disk. And here we go. This takes several minutes and there's the drive spinning up and when this is done I'll have a bootable DVD disk that will allow me to reload my image back onto my hard drive. Now once you have created this repair DVD you should label it exactly repair disk Windows 10 64-bit. So the main thing here is this can only be used with 64-bit versions of Windows that you've created a system image for, but I can't imagine anybody that has the 32-bit now. So there we have it. We've created a system image and we have created a system repair disk. So let me try booting from that repair disk and we shall see if it works. All right, I'm going to go old school on you here, and I'm just going to use my camera phone in the tripod so everybody can see me here. Hello, as I power up my laptop. And on this HP, you've got to hit Escape to interrupt the boot sequence. And then you can see in the lower corner here, it says Escape, Pause, Startup. And then it's going to give me a menu of options here in just a minute. Many other PCs, you can get a one-time boot menu by pressing F8, Delzer, F12, AS Rock is F11. It just depends. Now on the HP, you got to hit Escape, which gives you this menu. And then I can press F9 to get boot device options. And I can come here and pick my DVD drive, which has the recovery DVD in it and boot from that recovery DVD and I'll just press enter and it should start booting up here. I got to press any key to tell it to boot from DVD otherwise it will default and boot from the hard drive. Now it's booting from a DVD. DVDs are slow. This is going to take a while so I'm going to pause it. The disk is finally booted up so I just need to come up here and pick my keyboard and then I want to go to Troubleshoot. And one of the options I have is System Image Recovery. So I'm going to click on this so I can find the image I just made. And it's for Windows 10. That is correct. Now it's going to scan my devices looking for backup images. Hopefully this will not take very long. I have my USB drive, hard drive, plugged in, and there it is. It found my backup that was made on June 7th of 2021. And I could click on this image and hit next and go to recover. Now, I'm not actually going to do this because I don't want to overwrite my hard drive right now with the system image I created. So I am just going to hit cancel in this case, but you would want to hit next and go through the steps to have it recover your image onto a brand new hard drive. So this is something you would use if you had a dead hard drive. Now, if you don't have a DVD drive, you can use the Windows 10 media creation tool and from Microsoft and create a bootable USB memory stick with the Windows 10 USB stick. So that's where I'm going to end this 
video. I've showed you how to create a full system image of your entire hard drive for disaster recovery and how to create a repair disk for Windows 10 on DVD. I'm going to split it off into another video on how to download the Windows 10 installation media. The Windows 10 install disk, you can use that also to do a repair and recover your system image. But I'll show you that in a different video. So I do appreciate you watching this. And if you made it all the way to the end, you truly are a nerd. And I thank you.